What started as 16 and pregnant became an MTV phenomenon. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 memorable MTV's Teen Moms. <laughs> I can say one thing. I mean, it may, it's been really it's been hard times four. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're counting down the most iconic figures from this reality show, whether you love them or love to hate them. We're only looking at US versions of the show, so UK teen moms will not appear on this list. You left last night. Last night was a Saturday night. Number 10, Amber Portwood. Amber has been on a rough road since we first met her on 16 and Pregnant. One of the original teen moms, we've been able to follow her difficult journey for many seasons. At first, much of her conflict centered around her relationship with Gary, the father of her daughter Leah. That wasn't all about. Let me tell you something. You don't talk to my dad like that. In one of the most memorable altercations of the entire series, Amber became physically violent with Gary, eventually leading to her being arrested for domestic violence. Sleeping all morning. Watching your baby is a you dog. You, you gotta can't find understand an hour a day that. To clean this house. Deep down, we know she wants to be the best mom she can be but it seems like a constant struggle. While she threatened to leave the show after the sixth season, we were happy to see her back for season seven. Number nine, Leah Messer. In 2011, we got to meet a new slate of teenage mothers when Teen Mom 2 debuted. And at the beginning, Leah seemed like someone who was truly doing her best and kind of had it together. Corey's obviously not ready to forgive me, which really sucks because all I want is my family back. Do you think Corey's seen other people? Yeah. Unfortunately, that's definitely not how we see her all these years later. Leah is now twice divorced, and one of her twin daughters suffers from titan muscular dystrophy, a rare disease that makes the whole family's life more challenging. Me like Answer me! No. no. We are going to be running behind if I do not find the keys. Now stop. Mommy. What? Well, she put her No, it doesn't matter. I don't want to hear the fighting. I don't care. I don't care. Leah hasn't done well in more recent seasons, giving many viewers reason to doubt her abilities as a mother. Number eight, Kaylin Lowry. Everyone who's appeared on Teen Mom has faced their fair share of challenges, but it seems as though Kaylin has had one of the hardest roads to travel. You seem to think that I'm the one that's doing everything wrong and you don't do anything wrong. We've been fighting a lot lately. She first appeared on the show during her breakup with her son's father and quickly became a single mother as we all watched. No, Isaac, he's no. giving you a hug, now you hug him back. That's his way of saying sorry. She's someone who always keeps her emotions in check, not letting others see how she's truly feeling. While she's definitely a sympathetic figure, it's sometimes difficult to get past the strong facade she seems to put up. Don't blame me. Number seven, Janelle Eason. There are two types of teen moms we like to watch. The ones who are struggling to make a good life for their children and trying their best in the face of adversity, and the kind who just can't seem to get it together. You haven't been taking care of this baby since it's born. Damn it, stay home and take care of the kid! Janelle is decidedly in the second camp, and since she first appeared on the show, it has been a whirlwind. Losing custody of her son, being arrested multiple times, going to rehab for issues of substance abuse, and getting an abortion. You're still the mo a mother. You should. That's be when I go baby. out on Saturday nights and Friday night and Thursday night. Things don't really seem to be improving for this troubled mother either. As in 2019, her husband killed her dog because it bit their daughter. She got fired by MTV and lost custody of her kids. Safe to say, her most memorable moments are definitely the dramatic ones. Number six, Brianna De Jesus. While Brianna was initially introduced as a participant on Teen Mom 3 in 2013, it was canceled after just a single season. Another adult move was to get on birth control. Since Brianna was so popular though, she ended up becoming one of the moms on Teen Mom 2, joining the cast for season eight of the show. The fact that she was thrown into a group of girls who had already been appearing together for years meant that there was definitely gonna be some conflict, and fans were not disappointed, with Brianna having a massive feud with Kaylin that spanned much of the season. How were you yesterday? Um, first of all, it had nothing to do with it. It had everything no, to do with it. No, I said, I don't want these people around my kids. These people generally had this everyone. conversation already, so. so have a nice day, Brianna. Number five, Mackenzie McKee. Though Mackenzie appeared on the short-lived third version of Teen Mom, she is still one of our favorites. Why talk about it? I can't change Josh and I'm not gonna try. But that's not really fair to Gannon or you. 
Above all, we know Mackenzie is a good mom, doing things like sacrificing buying a new prom dress in order to buy things for Gannon instead. I love you. I love you. You may recall a memorable scene where Mackenzie's mom won't let her and Josh share a bedroom because she doesn't want them having premarital sex, despite the fact that they already have a child together. That's how my mom believes. To my family, I'm like the black sheep. So it's like hard, I feel really bad. And it almost like embarrasses me sometimes for them. Like Unfortunately, like Janelle, Mackenzie seems to be tied up in issues of animal abuse, though McKee is actively refuting the claims. Number four, Chelsea DeBoer. If we were ranking these moms on who is the best mother, we have a feeling a lot of people would want to see Chelsea at number one. I raise her every single day, yeah. but you, I have to earn your respect? No, I don't. You have to earn mine. She may not have had the best start, but as Teen Mom 2 has progressed, she's shown time and time again that she is eager to better herself in order to make a better life for her family. Sia, it's your first day. She obtains a GED, goes to beauty school, and continues to parent Aubrey throughout the difficult custody battle with her father. Number three, Vera Abraham. Hands down, the most controversial member of the entire Teen Mom franchise has to be Farah. I don't know if he's totally cool. I said he's totally cool with people having a kid. He has no problem with that, Mom. She's part of the OG group, and from the beginning, she made questionable choices and treated everyone around her with disrespect. So by looking at me, would you have thought that I have a kid? No. Good. You're gorgeous. I know. This is despite starting off as a sympathetic figure because her baby's father was killed in an accident just months before she gave birth. Right now, if right now by having us go, you're in breach of contract. That's no, about I'm all. Not. Sure you are. More recently, though, she made headlines when she released a sex tape with porn star James Dean. Her involvement in the adult entertainment industry eventually got her kicked off the show, so we no longer get to see any of her exploits, at least not on cable. Have you seen it? No. Have you, and, have you seen and it? And no, I, don't, I don't want to see it. <laughs> Number two, Caitlyn Baltierra. If we're talking favorite teen moms, we know a lot of people are on Team Caitlyn. It's not easy for me to deal with either. That's your guys' choice. From the very beginning, she showed maturity beyond her years throughout the first season of the show, as she and boyfriend Tyler navigated the difficulties of giving up their daughter for adoption. If you, if you had a child and you couldn't give it up for adoption when it was the best thing, then you're selfish. Since then, she and Tyler have now gotten married and had two more children, getting the happy family that we all know they deserved. In a show filled with chaos and drama, these two were always a beacon of hope, and a couple that was honestly kind of enviable. It's hard that you had to say goodbye yeah. to this precious little person. Mm -hmm. But what do we say about that? It's not goodbye. Yeah, see you later. Number one, Macy McKinney. Macy gets the number one spot on our list today because as a member of Teen Mom OG, we have seen her go through it all and remain shockingly level-headed through thick and thin. I didn't think that me and Bentley needed to go in the grocery store to get cake mix. Ryan. Give me money. In the beginning, we watched her struggle with her deadbeat baby daddy Ryan, all while she did her best to keep her head above water, working on her education while raising Bentley. No, I just want Bentley to have a dad. A good dad. That's all I want. As the seasons went on, she found herself in a new and much more supportive relationship, and eventually even Ryan stepped up his game, though he continued to have struggles of his own. Despite everything she's been through, Macy is a great example of how teen motherhood can turn out. So don't ask me or tell me what I do. I'm not a child, I'm a grown-up. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.